Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Minecraft. As I mentioned in the last video, I am tired of being a scaredy cat, tired of having no stuff, and so today we're going to go caving, but we're not going to go caving in the scared, terrified, scared, careful way we are going caving before. We are going speed caving, but <laughs> we're turning around because I need two swords, I think. Um, when I say speed caving, what I mean is just, uh, not being, like, t super, super careful. Just kind of see what's out there, get the, um, get down deep to diamond level, and, uh, yeah, just get stuff. I, I want stuff. You know what I really should have done before? For this was make arrows but um, that's gonna we'll make that sacrifice so what was down most I'm not sure up here we got this goes up to the surface and this goes kind of up I want to go down so I'm gonna go this way I know this was down we're just gonna go down um, Unlike the caving that I was doing on the multiplayer server, I know I mentioned that. This is where I got the sort of inspiration to just go kind of run willy-nilly. I'm going to keep placing my torches in useful places. Um, oh yeah, that looks awesome. There's some lava already. See, we're being aggressive. We already got some lava. Um, I started... I started losing my uh, my cool as far as torch placement is concerned. I was just kind of running around, clicking, left click, right right clicking, right clicking, right clicking with my torches, and I didn't really pay attention to how I was placing them. And then I sort of, oh, hey, hey guys. And then, hey, up there. And I sort of ended up being really lost, and I actually had to just pillar up straight straight up a few times which was no fun let's see how did I get down here exactly did I jump I gotta make a pathway up I am being reckless not reckless I'm being fast I'm not being reckless I'm physically incapable of being reckless any <laughs> anything in my life I am physically incapable of being reckless and uh, hopefully that's a good thing but um it's true so we're gonna go down here and there's a path so that's good i want to mark this as home and just block that off that's unexplored oh hey i'm really jumpy today i'm really jumpy okay this is down there is some awesome. Oh, just want to clear this out of the way so I can make one path. Awesome. Redstone. I think this is my first redstone. That's good. Hey, there's some more redstone. And some iron. Iron is always good. There was some iron back behind me now that I think about it that I passed, so I gotta go back and get that at some point. It's kind of funny. Now, I know a few episodes ago when I first started caving, I made a big statement that was, I don't understand why when people go caving, they leave resources unmined. You're, aren't you gonna need them at some point in the future? And I learned that after a while, when you have, like, ten full stacks of iron, it gets a lot less appealing. So, I, uh, when I was, I was, I was caving in another map, I stopped mining iron, and I really, I noticed it, and I laughed at myself. I'm not quite at that point here. I'm still on a mine everything sort of kick here, and a coal, too. I want to get all the coal. Did I not bring my water bucket? Crap. Where am I, anyway? Oh, I'm at diamond level. I didn't realize I went down that fast. Oh, boy. Okay. I, I really should go get my water bucket. 
before I explore this. Um, I'm not going to make you walk back up with me, so I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I got my water. I'm all ready to go. If you don't know, I learned this, I learned this trick by watching a lot of pros. It's a pro trick that I totally screwed up back there a couple episodes ago. If you put water down, it turns the lava to obsidian and lets you go through it. So that's definitely, if you're down lava level caving, this is definitely the way you cover ground. Make sure you pick it back up so you don't lose your water. But if you want to cover a lot of ground really quickly, definitely just water the lava and you'll, uh, you'll be good pretty fast. Did I see back here? What was this? Is this another direction? Whoa! Another good reason to have water on you besides the fact that you, uh, Besides the fact that you can clear out the lava, if you step in the lava, you can put yourself out, and that's nice. Oh, this was the redstone that I found. Okay. I just, I want to open this path between these so that I don't forget this is here. Because I want to explore this direction also. Okay, and I'm just going to um, sissy bar this. Gold? Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll go this way, actually. Oh, that was a good ambient sound. Up a little. Up a couple blocks now from Diamond. I learned that um, diamonds are most commonly found between um, between 10, Y10 and Y14? Or is it 8 and 12? Something like that. Diamonds are... Around 12 is where diamonds are found most commonly. So if you're looking for diamonds, you want to stay around that level. And right now, that's what we're doing. And so that's what we want to do. Stay around that level. Um, that other direction was gold. That was... no. Oh. Come on, go away. There we go. Despawn. Despawn. It's gonna get dark in a second. No, okay. My torch was good. So 16, this is a little high for this. Uh, but I want to see if it comes around again. And also the gold and stuff is totally not, not bad to have. And yeah, it goes back down. This kind of looks like a dead end though. Is this a dead end in here? Yeah, it's a dead end. Alright. Let's just leave a torch. And, uh, leave a torch. Get out of here and just block this off now. Oh, it's so nice. It's so refreshing after caving so recklessly to have this, um, the torches on the right thing. Torches on the right marks the way home. Okay, this is explored. This is... what is this? What did I do? When did I put this here? Is this a sissy bar? This is my sissy bar. Okay, I don't need that anymore. So this is explored. Um, and I want to go back down to where I came from. Down... down yonder this way. Uh, I got this redstone. That gold looks exciting. And I'm back down to the lower Ys, which is nice. All right. I don't want to put the torches on the wall if I'm not sure what direction I'm coming in. In from. So let's just, um, I'll we'll just put them on the floor. That's sort of my, it's my omnidirectional indicator, if you will. That probably doesn't make any sense. But basically, I don't, if I don't know what direction... I'm going, if I'm going out or back, I'll just put the, put it in the middle of the floor, and that's, uh, that works. All this lapis is useless. I really got a kick out of someone, I forget who it was, they called it useless lazuli. 
a lazuli, useless lazuli instead of lapis, which is kind of hilarious because it doesn't do much, but it's pretty. I really like, um, I really like the look of lapis blocks, like a, um, like a nine by nine block of lapis that when you craft it, I think that looks really nice. I definitely want to find a way to incorporate them into buildings somehow, because you end up, when you cave a lot, you end up with a lot of lapis, and I gotta use it for something, because I can't just leave it there, you know? You can't just leave it in the ground. Oh yeah, all these lava pools. There's gotta be diamonds in here somewhere. There's gotta be. I'm in the right level. I'm around lava. I don't know. Now, I don't know if it's true that um, diamonds are found commonly around lava. I don't know if the lava has anything to do with that or the fact that it's um, lava pools happen to be at the right level for diamonds. That sounds more likely. It doesn't have to do with the lava, it has to do with the Y, the Y coordinate. But, um, I always seem to have success around lava, lava lakes finding diamonds, and so does everyone else, it seems. That's like a common thing. If you're looking for diamonds, you go mine in a circle around the lava lake until you find them, and you usually find them. You usually find them. Okay, this is, we're going out. On our, oh, this sucks. Let's cover that up. There we go. Are any in the floor? That happened to me once. I was I was caving and there was a bunch of water, and uh, I oh, I keep hoping to run around the corner and just see them. Where did I go? Yes, yes. I'm lost though. Where did I come from? I want to find my bearings first. Okay. Oh, that's so hidden. That's such a little nook. Perfect. I came or I, um, there was water in the ground, or like flowing, and there was diamonds under the water, and I wasn't sure exactly, like, I didn't even see them for a while. Let's be super careful with these. These are our first diamonds. There's three. That's not bad. Three's not bad. There might be another one. Alright, but the bottom is clear. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's so exciting. Ah! That was a sh silly, silly shriek. Awesome. Awesome! We got diamonds! We got golds, too. This is a rare ore kind of, kind of day. Shouldn't be digging straight up. Breaking the rule. Oh, that's wonderful, though. I am so excited. Yes! Let me cover this up. Do I have any signs? Ah, oh, that would have been fun. Here lead diamonds. Here be diamonds. I don't need this axe. Okay, that's fine. Hello. Let's not throw them in the lava, actually. Let's not pick them up at all. Don't want to throw them in the lava. Okay. So, let's I'll continue on through this. I love when there's dirt in the way. Dirt this far down it really makes it easy to clear. I hope I have more than one shovel. I think I brought more than one shovel. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, okay. There was a skeleton somewhere. I didn't. I'm, I'm not crazy. I heard a skeleton. It's down this way. Just dead end. I'm gonna get some of this coal. I, uh. I need. Wow, oh, I actually have 33 levels. I really hope I don't die. I want. <laughs> That's almost all for mining coal. Too. I must have a ton of coal. I want 
to make so this is I just keep doing this I don't know the recipe for an enchanting table I gotta look that up that's probably not gonna happen this episode anyway but um, I want to make a diamond pick and enchant it give it a level 30 enchantment It'd be really sweet if I could get fortune because that's the way you get the diamonds you get a fortune pick a fortune 3 pick and or 4 if fortune 4 exists I'm not even sure get a fortune pick and just oh it's so nice you mine one and just like diamonds just fall out of it all over the place it's beautiful it's beautiful all right anything in the ceiling too we gotta not forget the ceiling Get the ceiling. I really like the way that everything kind of has a misty glow when you get down this far. I think it looks really awesome. It's very mysterious and like not evil is the word, but like I really feel like I'm deep down in the bowels of the cave when I see that. And sometimes it's fun to be in the bowels. You know? You don't. Probably nobody knows because it's not. <laughs> it's usually not fun to be in the bowels. That's a terrible place to be. Let's see here. Does this connect to the other side? Yes, it does. And that's not my water. That's a natural spring. I keep hearing skeleton noises. There must be a skeleton above me or something because he's not behind me. And if he's behind me, He's going to shoot me into lava, and I'm going to be really sad, so I hope not. There's some gold. Awesome. Lapis. Skeleton! How did you get there? How did you... And how are you not in the lava? Jesus. And now I want those arrows. No, no, no. No, no, no. That was a double no. All right, how high up does that go? I want to block it off. Let's get this gold first. I want to block off that water, it's just really in the way. Um. Hmm. It's really gonna kill me if I. Let me, let me flood this lava from here. I just really don't want to get pushed into the- More diamonds! Yes! Skeleton, where, 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 where? Where are you? Where is Skeleton? Um... I really don't want to get pushed into the lava, that's horrible. I gotta be extra super safe. This is the way back. I want to make sure that's clear that this is the way back. Okay. And this water really sucks. Can I... Can I block it like this? Or is it going to flow over it? Oh, that's good. Okay, I'll do that. Come on. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's not optimal, but it'll do. What's through here? That's my own torch. That's good. Okay. I still hear skelly noises. There's something up there. I don't want to see. I don't want to find out. I'm in the right place. I don't want to leave here and go exploring upward. Just in case. But, uh... Okay, got the redstone. How full am I? That's not bad. I can throw out some stuff. Where is that skeleton? Whoa! Ah! Oh my god. Um, that was a genuine scream. Oh, that's a creeper. I am freaking out right now. Holy crap. Oh, that scared me so bad. I knew he was there, too, and I... Just Ah. 
Okay, I gotta... I, I, I actually, like, stopped breathing. I scared me so much. I'm very jumpy today. It's making this really fun, though. Definitely shouldn't be playing Amnesia, that's for sure. I am never gonna play Amnesia. Minecraft scares me. Okay? Minecraft scares me. I... I can't... I can't play games that are not scary. I mean, oh, that was a dumb thing to say. I... I get terrified by so many things like, that aren't even scary, considered scary, to play a game like that, like a horror game, I just can't even imagine. I refused to play Slender because I didn't want to, because I just knew it wasn't going to work. It was not going to work for me. I was going to poop myself or, uh, or something before I got through that game. I watched somebody play it, and that was fine. I really enjoyed uh, Day 9, if you anybody follows StarCraft, I am a big fan of Day 9 and his, um, his video is Creeper. Do I have any arrows? Yes. Oh no. Oh no, 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 I have diamonds. Don't do that. Don't you do that. Oh, okay. That's good. I like knowing where I am. Um, Day 9 is a StarCraft commentator. He, uh... He used to be a semi-pro, you could say, um, StarCraft Brood War player, the first StarCraft game. And then StarCraft 2, he became a pro professional commentator. And uh, he does he, a daily show called the Day 9 Daily, appropriately enough. But he also plays other games. This is really only one diamond. Are you serious? Wow. Um... And one thing he did was play Amnesia. First of all, if you don't know what Amnesia is, Amnesia colon The Dark Descent is a horror game. I forgot if he made it. Um, I actually own it from... Oh no, okay. I own it as part of a bundle. A, um, like, a bundle of some kind. It's an indie game. They're an indie company. And, um, people consider it, like, one of the scariest games, like, ever. It's basically, it's like a survival sort of thing. I, I don't really know how to describe it because I haven't played it, but I watched Day 9 play it. It scared the crap out of him. It would scare the crap out of me, and that's all that's ever going to happen with me and Amnesia. There's like things that jump out at you, and I just, ah, I just can't. I hate being afraid. Some people get an adrenaline rush from being afraid. They love horror movies. They love those jumpy, scary things. I just don't, I don't get it at all. I hate being afraid. I can't even, like, to the point where I can't even imagine fright being an enjoyable emotion. I, I realize it is, you know, I, I like, but I guess it's an adrenaline thing and I'm not really an adrenaline kind of person so much like anything I don't like uh, where's that skeleton I don't like anything like dangerous and scary I mean you that's been sort of evident from the way I've been tackling this cave for most of this series has been very slow and afraid I called you know yeah so I can't do scary stuff and I'm fine with it I don't feel like I'm missing anything. I don't really... It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. But... It's never gonna happen. And people... Oh, God! That's the worst thing that could possibly be behind there. I hope he's suffocating. It looks like he's suffocating. It's got a nice funky beat to it, though. How did... Okay. So, can we talk for a second? There was a creeper in here. Just in here. Like... Oh, I want my... No, no! Water! Water! Oh, crap. Oh, there's a water thing right there. Hang on, I'll do my demonstration in a second. I need some water. I gotta get the source. Oh, there's not enough of it. If I unblock this, will there be enough that I can pick it up? 
I'm not 100% sure how this works, how water works. I'm gonna swim up. This is probably a mistake. I'm gonna swim up this water. Okay, I've already been here. Oh, this is coming from all the way. Alright, I'm gonna grab this water source. Just, I need water. And then run back down here. And block that off. Okay. Now it just looks like there's a weird square of stuff. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. So, alright, we need to talk about this. Just for a second. There is a creeper in here, all by his lonesome, just kind of, just kind of chilling in this box, in the dark. How did that happen? Maybe he fell down from up here? Ah, ah. Maybe he fell? I don't know. I don't get it. But uh, it creeped me out, that creeper. He was creeping. Did he come from here? Well, it's good to know there's something back there, at least. See, I'm glad we did this demonstration. What's back here? Got some more lava. Some more lava. And, uh, some more gravel. Now, what we want... Oh, that's interesting. And what's up? Is that just stuff? Hang on, we gotta, we gotta find out what's going on. Up here. Why can't I jump up there? Come on, come on. Is there anything here? Is this just a ceiling? It's just a ceiling, okay. Let's get this iron then. Well, I'm glad, I'm really glad we did that little creeper demonstration because I got a lot of stuff out of it. What we're hoping for is that we're gonna get some diamonds. Redstone, okay. Redstone is good to have. I'm not a real redstone like guru. That's hilarious to even consider that you'd consider me a redstone guru. I guess you don't know me. I'm Swordfish. Nice to meet you. Um, I've never made anything with redstone before. I've never, you know, I, I haven't even really touched it. The way that I talk about stuff, it really sounds like I've never played Minecraft before. I promise I have. Um, but I've never done anything fancy. That's true. I've never done anything fancy in Minecraft. I consider redstone fancy. I don't know if that's true or not. It seems fancy to me. Um, but I definitely want to do... I definitely want to do something, because it seems really awesome. And I'm a big fan of Etho. I watched a lot of his videos. He's made some ridiculous things with, with redstone, and I definitely... That really is inspiring, like, the crazy stuff that he's done. And that all the other redstone people, Doc M77 and Etho in particular. So, a skeleton. I definitely want to try and do some fun stuff with redstone at some point. That's why I'm harvesting all of it. If I had a fortune pick, I'd harvest even more. I'm just harvesting everything today. It's harvesting time. Alright, that's we'll just let's see, where's that skelly? Why did we go back there anyway? Okay, that's that direction. That's is there Okay. That's fine. We're going this way, and there was lava here, and this looks frightening. That looks like it needs a sissy bar. That's a frightening sound too. What's this? More lava. Yeah, more lava. Lava with redstone behind. Or, you know. Y y you feel me. Okay. Let's get this redstone. Let's burn this redstone because that probably fell in the lava. This one's probably going to fall in the lava. That's okay. That's okay. This is just a, you know, here's some iron. Gotta get some iron, gotta get some everything. Get, get everything. 
Okay. This is dead. I'm not gonna dig around too much. I know that I'd probably find some more stuff if I... What was that? Where's that up? Was it this way? It was... Well, there's definitely stuff above me. Did I go up? I'm confused. What's down? There's something here. I definitely know that if I were to dig around in circles a little bit, like around the lava pool, like I said people do, they dig around all the way around the lava lakes, I'll definitely find more stuff. And that's like absolutely an undeniable fact. Like, I will find diamonds if I just tunnel through the walls for them, but I don't really want to do that. I want to find them. I want to walk around like I did before. I want to walk around a corner and be like, oh my god, it's diamonds. That's that. I want that. That's the fun thing. I that's that's the spirit of caving to me. I love that. There is something through this wall. There is something through this wall. It sounds exciting. Where is it? It's up. Okay. There's something around here. I think uh I think we've I think it's time to listen to these scary monsters and call it an end to this episode. So, uh, this was successful. This, this, this was successful. I'm so excited to finally have diamonds on here. It's the, it's the one episode I'm like, alright, we're gonna go get stuff, we got diamonds immediately, so. Next episode, we will investigate the source of those scary noises. So, uh... As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.